COVID cases keep falling in Bear County. Today's seven day average is now 452 cases per day. That is the red line you see there on your screen. It's at its lowest point since Christmas Eve. As numbers decline, it's becoming clear the virus could lead to a new epidemic called chronic fatigue syndrome. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker explains. As time goes on, experts are seeing the connection between chronic fatigue syndrome or CFS and COVID. And research shows the prevalence of CFS could triple because of the coronavirus pandemic. Patients are just debilitated with it. They can't work. They really have to pace. They can't exercise. And also some of them have to rely on feeding tubes. They just can't get up and go. There's no rhyme or reason. They seem to be doing everything right, but getting all the wrong results. Some of the worst chronic fatigue symptoms are severe and constant tiredness, problems with memory or concentration, sore throat and headaches, unexplained muscle or joint pain, and unrefreshing sleep after physical or mental exercise. Everyone is presenting a little bit different, and there's probably a combination of mechanisms that affects each person differently. About 1.5 million Americans suffer from chronic fatigue syndrome, and that's a stat from before the coronavirus pandemic. Evidence has shown that about 1 in 10 COVID infections could result in CFS. That would make 7.7 .7 million Americans in total suffering from CFS after COVID. A big problem associated with CFS is the stigma. It's not a psychological condition because some people want to say, oh, it's all in your head or you're depressed, but that's not the case. It's a real condition. It's big time important to not judge another person unless you walk in their shoes. Both doctors agree that if you have had any of those chronic fatigue syndrome symptoms for a long time, you should get seen by your primary doctor right away. Jeremy Baker, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.